Uh, this is just a little video uh, to get everybody on board uh, with what at least we're trying to do in my area, and we're calling it the surge, uh, the S-U-R-G stepping up our game. Uh, you know, when the R can be backwards if you want to be clever or whatever, you know, funny. Uh, but there's three things really that we can do to help Ron Paul uh, succeed. Uh, and one of them is this really awesome grassroots strategy. And what it is is you take uh, TV trays, uh, like the little tables you would eat your microwave dinner on, uh, and watch Wheel of Fortune. Uh, and you get bumper stickers, super brochures, constitutions, voter registration cards, uh, you know, and other literature, and you have it sitting there. And then you get, like, the, the Ron Paul yard signs, and you put them in obscure places, and you put it, you know, right next to the table. Uh, and then you just get people to, to run around with these. And, you know, hey, have, have you heard about Dr. Paul running for president? Or what do you know about the, the Republican, uh, the, the candidates that are running right now? You know, and just engage people in conversation. And, uh, you know, before you go out and do uh, this kind of a strategy, just in a, a really populated city block or, you know, somewhere where there's a lot of people, uh, you know, I recommend you memorize what's in here. You know where everything's at. Uh, and then, you know, if people have a question, you know exactly where to go. So uh, that's a really good grassroots strategy. Secondly, uh, something that is happening is that the March 6th, Super Tuesday, uh, the, the caucus and primary states, I uh, clearly it, it's a it's a cluster. And Ron Paul, uh, you know, Dr. Paul is not going to actually be able to make it to all those states. Well, hopefully he might be able to. But realistically, uh, you know, he works really hard, but I don't know if he can, uh, you know, operate. Uh, to different places across the country. And so uh, basically, you know, where he goes, there's a rally. Every time he speaks, there's a rally. If he's not coming to your state, you owe it to this campaign uh, to make a rally yourself and to organize that. And it's really, really easy. And basically, you know, you get a, a speech for uh, a rally, you know, whether it's you, whether it's, uh, you know, somebody else that knows what they're talking about, get a really solid message, really concise speech ready for people, get people ready, get people pumped up, you know, say we're here for liberty, you know, just get people, uh, you know, excited. Uh, and, you know, that's important. And then march them down to your state capitol or march them down to city hall, wherever. Uh, and, you know, and that's great. Uh, you know, the people there are going to be excited. Uh, the people might be walking in the car or in the cars and they might see, you know, the yard signs or just a cardboard uh, sign that has in the Fed written on it, whatever. And, you know, some people might see it, but the critical, important aspect is writing a, an appropriate press release and uh, getting them out there. Because as soon as the media shows up, then people watching the 5 o'clock, the 10 o'clock news, they're going to see this and they're going to have a clear picture that there is support in their area. And we can use that as a way to kind of sidestep uh, the mainstream media and that, you know, Ron Paul doesn't actually have to show up to your state and you can do that. And so... I really just set a goal for yourself. 50 people is a success. 50 people looks great on camera. It looks great when you have 50 people and the Fed and the Fed, Ron Paul, Ron Paul, President Paul. You know, we have people doing that. Cameras are picking that up. You know, and what really would be important is having that speech first, having a rally first, marching down, having another speech. In caucus states, having a caucus training, explain what's going to happen in the caucus. You don't need microphones. You don't need anything. You have the right to assemble. You have the right to march. Just make sure that you get the appropriate permits to, to practice in parks, wherever, and just walk out, have the signs, do the chants, make it a training, make it an invitation to get those people that came to that out, uh, and then have yourself and other organizers and other people that are well-informed and you know we're going to uh, represent the cause and represent your grassroots organization uh, in a good light, have them be surrogates for, uh, you know, having the interviews on the, the TV and so, and, and for the, the newspapers and the pictures that they're going to be taking. And so uh, you want to give them a face for that, but you have to issue that in the press release. And so, uh, you know, go ahead and email me at this uh, email address. I, if you if you want help writing a press release and I can help you do that, I, I can get you in touch with people that know how to do that. And we're going to write an effective press release uh, with the uh, right names for uh, who can be interviewed and things. But that is critical, uh, you know, for us to sidestep the mainstream media because people, like I said, are going to be watching the five o'clock, the ten o'clock news, 
just because that's what they do and that's going to be critical to get that message across and it's just something that's going to be fun you walk down main street and uh, shout president paul that's awesome and so i uh, you know that that's something important to do i uh, but the third plank about stepping up our game uh, is really in the online world, in the Twitterverse, in the Facebook world, in the some people use Google Plus. I'm not really that kind of a person, uh, but basically, you just need to uh, something that's really effective is posting and sharing videos that don't harass people and don't say anything about Ron Paul because as soon as they see that, a lot of people are turned off. And you know, the people that watch the videos that don't say Ron Paul that don't say anything, that don't attack people, you know, if they're going to research Ron Paul, they Google search Ron Paul's name, and all of a sudden, hundreds of videos come up. And so that's that's going to happen. We have to pique their, their interest, though. So go ahead and post videos, share videos on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, I, Google+, Plus, I, MySpace if you use it, and just make it obscure and make it, so it piques people's interest and they watch the video and then, oh, no, oh, all of a sudden they get blasted in the face with uh, Ron Paul Liberty propaganda. And, you know, that's that's terrible uh, for, for a Romney campaign or a Santorum campaign, but it's awesome for a Ron Paul campaign because people get introduced to the, the message and we know what happens when people uh, get introduced to the message. We get uh, this energy and we get the enthusiasm that no one else gets. And so uh, just do that by by trying to do a little Trojan horse and sneaking stuff in uh, to, you know, sneaking the message to people uh, because they don't get shut off immediately because it's about politics, it's about Ron Paul, or it's attacking people and saying someone's an idiot. Uh, you know, so, so do that. Secondly is share and like more things. The Internet's an awesome platform. Sharing stuff and liking stuff is free. Do it like crazy. Double your efforts. Uh, double it and then do two more. Once you think you've done way too much, do just a little bit more because that's, you know, going to proliferate the message. Uh, you know, and, and something else that is really important is, I, I at least I think it's important because I think it happens in Twitter. I think it happens in uh, Google Plus and I know it happens in Facebook because that's my platform, is change your picture to say the words Ron Paul. And some of the yard signs don't work because they're too wide for the, the picture. So get the ones that are square and put those as your 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 profile picture. So every time you post something, even if it's unrelated, it shows up and people say, oh, Ron Paul. And we're going to do the same thing that mainstream media does. Is they say he's unelectable, he's unelectable, he's unelectable. Even though he is electable, people start to believe that because that's what they see all the time. So let's put the name of the next president of the United States right next to everything we post just by changing our profile picture. And that's going to be crazy because it just gets the exposure, which piques the interest, which introduces the conversation, and that's important. And then finally, uh, the last two things I wanted to talk about uh, were uh, the phone from home. Dr. Paul himself said that phoning from home is absolutely uh, the, the best thing that you can do for the campaign. And seriously, a lot of people don't even answer their phones. Uh, because it's a random number. Nobody wants to answer their phones. But the people that do, the people that are going to answer the phones, the people that you are going to call and that are going to turn out, they're going to answer the phones, and you owe it to them to make the call in the first place. If you don't make the call and you're afraid of failure and you're afraid to talk to people, nothing is going to get done, and that's going to shut out somebody that potentially could have been a voter for Ron Paul, and you owe it to Ron Paul, and you owe it to yourself for trying so hard to get people converted you have to do the things that are most successful. And, you know, like I said, it could take 20 minutes. Uh, it could take an hour if you have a successful uh, voice and you, you know, maybe get a number that people answer. Uh, but make sure that you shoot for at least 50 calls a day. That's important. Uh, you know, set that as a goal for yourself. Um, and other than that, try to try to donate to the February 14th Money Bomb. That's important to the campaign. Uh, you know, those guys work really hard. Uh, you know, we, we got we to gotta help them with that. Uh, you know, donate whatever you can. And just let's step up our game. Let's surge them into the, uh, the nomination. Uh, and that's what we got to do. So thanks.